Hey Hickok 45, we're going to compare a couple of uh, long guns that people use for defensive uh, weapons, defensive firearms uh, around the home, I guess maybe elsewhere too. And we're going to compare the shotgun with uh, the AR-15 and point out some advantages and disadvantages of, uh, of each you know, choice. And while this might not be your, your first choice in a shotgun for self-defense, we thought it was you know, a relevant choice today. So we're going to just take a couple of shots with it and see, you know, how it works. Okay, got a pocket full of shells. We're going to take a few. Let's start out with something here kind of close. One of the things we want to demonstrate is the fact that you really, in a lot of ways, actually have a rifle when you have a shotgun. Now, you're going to see me pointing at that orange two liter. All right, I'm going to just point at him and blow him off there. Well, I'll be darned. It didn't blow him off there. You know, you really have to be on target with a shotgun. A lot of people think you can just turn it loose and if there's three terrorists out there, you can blast them all out. And that's not necessarily the case, is it? Let's take a couple more shots. I'll, I'll go ahead and put another round in there just so we have a full magazine <laughs> to loads, all right? And we'll take a few shots. We'll go ahead and take this guy. I know you want to see him go, but I do have to be a right on. <laughs> right on him. <laughs> Let's see if we have anybody else here. Oh, there's one up there. Let's see if we can get him. All right. Took him out. Let's reload it. We're in a defensive situation here now. They're shooting at me. I should be behind cover, shouldn't I? Let's take that tombstone out. Take that cowboy. Wow. Look at that. Everything is right on the target. That would have been easy to miss. I'm going to aim over towards the side of that tombstone. Look at that. Felt like I was aimed right at it, and I just got a couple of pieces on it. Let's try that red target. Let's oh, I just got one pellet on it. I was actually trying to hit it, to tell you the truth. <laughs> so, moral to that story is you're shooting a rifle uh, at across the room distances. Now, that would be a big room from here to that tombstone. That, that's a long way. You probably don't have a room that big in your house. Uh, let's take a couple shots while we're at it. You never know what's gonna come up. Uh, I think there's a couple of uh, pieces of cinder block on that barrel over there. Oh, I got a couple of pellets on, believe it or not. Let's try the red plate. I don't know if I got one on that or not. Might have. So. I don't know what that would have done at that distance, but you know what? I didn't have my ears on. I just realized that. <laughs> That's okay. My ears need cleaning out anyway. Shotgun's a big sound. Uh, it'd be bigger in the house, wouldn't it, than out here, but it doesn't uh, blow your ears out like, a, uh, like an AR-15 is pretty loud. Okay, so shotgun. You've got to treat it like a rifle in a defensive situation uh, because, again, it's not going to spread that much. and You can very easily miss because I was pointed right at that guy almost. I mean, it, it felt like I was. If you weren't really sighting down that bead, you would have thought you were on him, you know, and especially a nervous defensive situation, and nothing touched him, okay, from a 12-gauge uh, double-aught buck uh, blast, okay? Now, the advantage is, of course, if you hit something with a 12-gauge shotgun or any gauge shotgun just about, they're going to know it. You know, it's going to be pretty effective. That, that's one big advantage, isn't it? It is definitely going to know it's been hit. But, you know, loading fast, two shots or with this type of gun, and maybe under stress, you know, and getting those in there and, you know, getting it ready to go again, uh, dropping K uh, shells, I don't know. Might not be uh, as smooth as you would like, right? So, some advantages, some disadvantages. Let's, uh, let's look at the AR. Uh, a lot of people think it's a, an evil rifle that should not be owned, right? <laughs> well, it has some advantages. And one of those is low recoil. Let me show you something. Let me put my ears in. I definitely don't want to forget my ears with this. Easy to use. I'm just going to hold it out here as though it's a pistol. I'm just shooting into the dirt. Actually, I might even be able to. I'm going to hold it on that red plate over there. Uh, it's hard to do. Uh. <laughs> I got it. Hey, a new handgun. But anyway, you can see there's just, there's just basically no recoil at, 
essentially at all with a 2.23 and you know, 5.56 and an AR-15. Very comfortable to shoot. And of course, if you have a standard capacity magazine that holds 30 rounds, you also are not fumbling with reloads. So you have the option of taking your shots. Uh, you never know what the, the situation is going to be. Uh, home invaders tend to come in uh, multiples, you know, and uh, you might uh, need to have more than a couple of rounds. Might be nice to be able to, let's go to cross the hill again. easier with two hands uh, with a gun like this you are more likely to be able to do, uh, you know take care of any situation very low recoil very easy to shoot well and it's just a, a dream to shoot uh, it's very reliable very effective there's another target I missed <laughs> and maybe I'll even pick off that paint can there without damaging my target uh, uh, uh. Sweet, sweet gun. No problem. No problem to, to shoot well. And you notice I didn't even have to reload. If I did, and I had a magazine, of course, with me, I'm just sticking this in my pocket. Uh, I, will turn. I can just pop it in there, and I'm, I'm still in action. Okay? I'm not breaking the gun down, fumbling with, with shells and, and that sort of thing. Uh, another advantage of it, let's go ahead and clear it for, for right now. Okay, very simple to operate. Uh, your magazine release is right there, handy. Uh, your safety is right there, thumb safety. Very, very simple to operate. If you're a uh, small frame person, you know, you can adjust the stock. And, uh, you know, just for any size person, literally, you know, very, very versatile. And, again, with a low recoil, it, it just doesn't matter. Anybody can shoot this firearm and, uh, and not be punished by recoil and not be... Uh, discombobulated or confused or knocked around if you're someone who doesn't shoot much uh, you know that's especially important I think you're not used to big recoil like you get from a, a shotgun uh, that alone could could uh, add to the the, the problem it, it really could now for a professional someone who's extremely experienced in shooting we, we've got to add of course no matter what you have you can have a double barrel shotgun a single barrel shotgun maybe uh, an AR uh, you're probably you're much more likely to get yourself out of a situation, right? If you're experienced, if you're trained, if you're uh, very, very uh, competent with firearms. But most people probably don't fall into that category, uh, and you don't know when the predators are going to strike. You don't know that it's going to be one guy. You know, probably a guy, right, most of the time. You don't know that it's going to be some drug, drugged-up person that's, you know, doesn't know what he's doing. It could very easily be two or three or more uh, assailants because they're they're looking for easy pickings. They're planning. I mean, there 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 is a class of criminals that we don't see a lot, you know, in the cop shows probably, in the even in the movies sometimes, where these people plan. They plan houses to to attack. Uh, they're looking for whatever they're looking for: money, guns, jewelry, and uh, they they actually have a little bit of sense and plan where to go into that home and when the best time is to go in and surprise people. So, you know, you don't want to be outgunned. That's what it comes down to. And something like this would uh, pretty much put you at the top of the food chain. You're not going to be outgunned probably if you have an AR-15 and you have a standard capacity magazine. It's, it's going to put you right there uh, with, with, with them to some extent, uh, at least on an even uh, uh, par with uh, your firearm. They might, it might be multiple assailants, uh, but you're going to be, you're going to be as ready as you can be in terms of what your firearm choice is. Let's put another round in here. And again, let me show you how simple, I don't have a lot of targets left to shoot, but let me shoot that barrel there. One of the advantages of the AR-15 as well is it's an effective round. Uh, it's a rifle round. It's a round that our military uses. But yet you can hold it on target, and I'm going to shoot, uh, I don't know, relatively fast here. Uh, at the bottom of that barrel, maybe we can see holes. Uh, there's a clean area there that's not been shot. Just uh, as an example. Yeah. 
I mean, you can put several rounds in an area pretty, pretty quickly, okay? You don't have that massive recoil. Let me put a couple more at the top of that uh, bottle. Very, very easy to shoot well, and you notice it's not knocking me around. Very effective uh, a rifle. And again, it's just uh, it's what we, we should be able, of course, to own and, and have it at our ready because we're not likely to have bad guys coming in with something much more effective than this. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just the ideal choice in so, so many ways. Uh, you, know, it's, it's, you know, it's like I say, it's, it's adaptable. You could put, you know, your stock length. You could put uh, lasers on it, you could flashlights on it, uh, whatever sights you like, your, your, your preference of sights. You can get them in different calibers even, of course. You may add a little bit to the recoil, but uh, lots of different calibers available. So quite a difference, uh, you know, with a standard shotgun, especially a double barrel, you're probably not going to have uh, something that's as, maybe as short as you want in the stock and uh, you're gonna have a lot of recoil. You really are. And again, you essentially have a rifle. You essentially have a very powerful rifle and you'd wanna think of it, I'd, I'd like to think of it as shooting slugs. If I'm shooting across the room, that's basically what you're doing. You're, you're shooting slugs because you're gonna get across the average room, uh, especially, let's say you're five feet from the wall, three feet from the wall, whatever, and uh, the bad guy is not part of the wall, you might just be shooting 10 feet away very easily, you know, three, four, five, six yards. And, you know, so you're talking maybe no spread, baseball. You're, you're throwing baseballs basically, or, or smaller is what, what you're essentially doing. So big, powerful rifle, that's what it amounts to. Now, another advantage of this I didn't mention is that the 223 round is less likely in a lot of ways to go through a wall, you know, sheetrock wall uh, because of the velocity and the, it, the bullet just, it just comes apart very, very, very quickly when it's going through uh, sheetrock and it just destroys itself and, and goes crazy because of the velocity. So that's something that uh, you want to keep in mind. It's, it, because it's a military caliber rifle, doesn't mean it's going to go through 49 walls. Whereas uh, even, even double lot buck can go just right on through a lot of walls and of course uh, slug would maybe go on forever, right? <laughs> so that's, uh, that's an interesting aspect of that. Now, the other thing, if you notice the, the ergonomics of this, if you've not had one of these, they just feel really good in the hand. And the fact that pistol grip is right there is, uh, is reassuring, particularly if you're not a, a really experienced shooter and you just are not accustomed to gun. You pick this thing up, it just feels, it just feels great. It, it really does. And it, it just fits the hand. And if you have the stock adjusted for you, there's just... Just uh, not a lot that, that can go wrong in terms of it slipping or you dropping it or losing control. You don't, and you, you shouldn't have to do anything with it other than just bring it into action. Just do that. And safety on, uh, and it's ready to go. You know, your magazine is not likely to have to be changed, you know, in some kind of altercation. Uh, not going to have to be fooling with ammunition and, you know, resupplying the ammunition probably, you know. Uh, unless you're in some faraway desert land in a, in a firefight. So very, very effective uh, a choice. Probably, and it's hot, I'm going to lay it down there even though it's hot. Uh, probably one of the most effective choices that you could ever come up with. Uh, it's just quick to reload, shoots an effective round. Uh, it's going to get the job done, you know, by and large. You've got, you got plenty of capacity. It's, it's the ultimate equalizer. You are not going to be at a disadvantage. So, my choice would be over the double barrel shotgun, definitely an AR-15. And I think it would probably be a wise choice for most of you too. Okay, hope that was of some benefit to you. Life is good.